What is going on viewers, it is Farn Army here as always, welcome back to the channel, welcome if you're new around here, so we're back on Forza 7, as per usual, and oh my god, let me tell you, this video is such a meme video, especially this race, so you don't want to miss it, you want to stay all the way until the end, trust me, you're not going to regret it if you do so, so we start the race, we move past the Mustang, now I want you to keep an eye on that, because he's obviously doesn't know he obviously doesn't know what brakes are he doesn't have a brake pedal just kind of got flying in into the corner take a couple of people out with him as per usual as all mustangs do you know i heard they're really good at killing crowds and you know killing people so basically definitely doing you know following the traditions you know killing a couple of people not using the brake pedal so well that mustang ruined a couple of a couple of people's races but i moved a couple of positions up courtesy of that mustang so I guess that's a good point, that's the positive point of it. Anyways, if we move past the Lotuses, up into fifth, I'm really gonna go for a move down the inside into Lake Home Chicane. And I braked a little bit too early, but the Lotus next to me, he braked way, way too early and turned in about five years too early. I don't quite know what line he was trying to take, but obviously it was not gonna be a good one, let me tell you that. So, we have top three, Vel within sight right here. We got Robo going way too wide on the exit of the wash. He's also driving the 2005 Honda NSX. So we head down the hill and I'm gonna go for a massive slide. We, we managed to save the car and thankfully I'm good enough, just about good enough to not sim twitch every time I go for a slide. So spending a little bit of time on the grass as well. Let's point that out as well. So on the exit of Puan, look at that, right onto the back of Robo, getting a really good drive out of the corner and into the chicane we go, he's gonna cover the inside, okay fair enough, I'm just gonna go around your outside, you know, casually go around his outside, fantastic move, up into third place, he's gonna try to come back at me on the exit, he doesn't quite get the drive, but into Stavolo, he's just gonna put his car up the inside and he's just gonna try to push me off the track, you know, that was, that was really just a horrible move. But thankfully, I managed to keep my cool and not bin my car. So, I stay in third place and finally I shake him off and I can have some breathing room. So, as we head up the hill towards Blanchemont for the first time, is, is Farhan going to take the Pro Gamer line? Yes, he is. He's going to extend all the way to the barriers. Same with Robo. But as we head towards the final chicken, things are about to go downhill because... Oh my god, look at that. That's not pretty. That's not pretty at all. That... That was honestly absolutely disgusting. That, that move from Farhan was really violent. And honestly, I don't quite know what he's doing with his life. He's just killing people. We're left, right, center. You can't race side by side with him. He's definitely going to kill you. And as he says, he requires the whole track. So you, you don't want to go side by side with him through any corner. You know, down the street, I thankfully just managed to go past him. But as we go towards All Region Radion, he's just gonna shove me out of the way. You know, just like that. Absolutely filthy stuff. But me having none of it, I'm just gonna come back at him through the camel straight. Look at the power difference. It's absolutely huge. Uh, I'm talking about the power difference, by the way. The power difference is huge. Don't don't think of anything, anything other than that. So, we move past him. We go up into first place. But he's he, he may not have the straight line speed, but he definitely has this has the cornering ability or just basically cornering speed over my car. So I'm definitely gonna watch out for that. If I keep blocking him for too long, he's definitely gonna just ram me out of his way and get that first place. But we don't want that to happen. So we go a little bit wide here. He looks around the outside. It's not a corner where you can go around people's outside because it's not sharp. And you know, if you're... Uh, if you're alongside, maybe you can go around the outside, but if you're not, it, it's just basically not gonna happen. So, through Puan, not carrying as much speed as I would have liked. Is Farhan gonna extend the corner on the exit? Yes, he is, as he always does. So, into the next chicane, I don't I don't know what's the name, but it's just a chicane. All we know is it's a chicane. So, and on the exit, I'm gonna go a little bit wide, lose some momentum. Farhan's gonna poke his car up the inside but no i'm having absolutely none of that mate i'm just gonna avenge daniel for and put Farhan in the wall where he actually where he actually belongs and make sure he's not gonna be recovering anytime soon but i'm not t that type of guy to just kill someone and win the race so i'm just gonna slow down and this is three years after i slowed down they all caught they all caught me back up 
and Daniel is up in first place, but things are about to go down here because he's gonna get acquainted with another wall in Spa as Rahan sweeps across the whole track and oh my god, he's just gonna absolutely kill Daniel and put him in the wall. Oh my god, Daniel did not have a good time, poor guy, he, he did not have a good time at all throughout this whole race. Farhan ruined his race twice in a row basically on the pretty much the same spot in both laps. So anyways, we moved across the line to finish the race and I'm just gonna, yeah, I didn't fancy winning the race so I slowed down on the line and let Robo take the fir take first place. And look at those lap times, those are world record materials right there, 235, 238. That is world record material if you ask me. So, we move on to our first bonus clip here at Dubai. This corner, extremely misleading as we're going in blind. And my point is going to be proven by a couple of fellow drivers as we look back. And yeah, scenes of devastation and pure chaos ensuing back there. Look at that, five people are breaking themselves. Five out of five are breaking themselves and putting themselves in the wall. There were probably a couple of more people in the smoke that I couldn't even see them. So, we move from Dubai to Suzuka and we're just gonna casually kill Farhan and spin him around. But we're just gonna, we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna pretend that it never happened. Just I just gave him a taste of his own soup. So it's nothing to, nothing to worry about. As we head towards Spoon Curve. And really hard corner to get right, but... We don't care about what corner this is because the battle for first place is on, it's hotting up as the Juan goes up into first place and we got Robo coming back at him and through the back straight, he's gonna go past into first place and I'm just gonna blast past him into second place right now. So as we approach 130R and Robo taking the horrific line, I take it beautifully and he lost so much speed, I'm gonna look up the inside as we head towards the final chicane. And I get the move done, but one is just gonna push me right. But I'm um, just gonna cut across the grass and the gravel, make sure he's not gonna get away with that. But he kind of got away with it, so you know, I'm having none of it. So you might want to have a load of this, mate. There we go, beautiful. Just completely spin him around and make him face backwards. So uh, Robo is Robo has gone through to take the first to take first place. You know, if I'm not winning, you're not gonna be winning either, mate. If you push me, I'm gonna push you back. Make sure you're not gonna win the race. So, and the last couple of seconds, excuse the poor driving. I was laughing so much, I couldn't really drive at all. So, as we approach 130R yet again, but this is a different race. We go a little bit wide. That's gonna cost us some time, but as we hit towards the final chicane, I go, I'm just gonna misjudge it by a little bit. He's <coughs> just gonna come weighing in, flying across the screen into the barrier. Oh my god, I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. That was, oh my god, that caught me off by surprise. You know, that would have been a perfect ram if I hadn't driven, uh, hadn't I driven myself off the track. That would have been a perfect ram. But obviously, I had other ideas, basically, I just drove myself off the track. And Farhan obviously caught him. I caught Farhan by surprise. And he just beautifully missed that, missed his ramming attempt, and created that beautiful scene so I could put it on display for you guys. Anyways, enough talking. That's the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to uh, leave a comment and especially leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of the same. I'm gonna make another video in a couple of days to talk about some important, some important stuff and the future of this channel. So stay tuned for that. So. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed, take care of yourselves, and don't drive yourself into the wall like that guy did, and yeah, stay safe with your family, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video, goodbye.